Hello guys, on the last episode of Mr. Iron Bar, I finally got the Endurance Ring, took over 21 million agility XP and over 600 grand coffins to finally get it. So yeah, we went a bit over three times the normal rate, but very excited to have it. We already did a little bit of testing with it uh, earlier, but we're going to do a lot of more normal situation testing where you would use the ring for a typical player, such as like, Blast Furnace, Herbivore, like Sarah range solos, and also that big scale raid that I'm going to do, 21 man scale solo ohm with the Ring of Endurance. So if you guys don't know what the Ring of Endurance does, just think of it as the ring that doubles the effect of a stamina potion, right? You charge it with stamina, and when you drink a stamina dose, it effectively is twice the effect. So instead of 2 minutes duration, it's 4 minutes. Instead of 20 run energy gained, it's 40 run energy gained. And when the Ring of Endurance is charged with 500 stamina doses, the ring also reduces your drain rate on your run by 15%, which in the long run will actually save you stamina doses. So we're going to be finding out a lot of just how good the Ring of Endurance is for me and yeah, I guess for you guys as well. Ever since the Endurance Rank came out, I've always thought about doing something insane with it because of the theoretical ability in maintaining run for such a crazy long period of time. And I think the best way to push the limits is to do a incredibly huge scale solo raid. So I am going to be trying to do a solo ohm without dying that is scaled for 21 people by myself. I believe Eviescape the YouTuber uh, tried to do something similar, but he did end up dying towards the end. But we are going to do it without dying, or try to, and we're going to do it in hopefully two hours, because the 1 plus 10 last episode only took about an hour, and it should be about double the length. So we're going to go for two hours. Okay, we're about to be ready. Uh, everybody else here, they're just kind of maxing out the points in the raid by drinking pots and eating food, so this thing's going to keep going up. I should probably get 200k points or something just doing the ohm, so we're gonna have a good chance to get a drop on top of this challenge here. But yeah, this is gonna be the setup. Six overloads, that's approximately two hours. And the stamina, six damage, approximately two hours. And yeah, we're gonna be flicking really hard for, for like about two hours. So we're not gonna rely too much on prayer. But yeah, we reduced some of the switches. Uh, no armor legs. We, Reduce the god cape just because yeah, I don't think they're they're too important Definitely overloads and stuff is more important for uh, making the fight go by quicker But yeah, man, I think this is it. This is it guys. Let's go and try it out Alrighty, all right, here we go. We're good now for real. Let's let's do it All right, damn dude each hand is 4800 HP. That's insane. It's so much HP. So we're currently just Mystic Mighting. I think the plan is Mystic Might when it's just Mei Chan. And wait till my prayer drops to like 40 and then just drink a prayer enhance. So if we do it this way, we'll make the two prayer enhances last. All the way to the head phase probably. So for every seven people after the first person in the party, Ohm gets an extra phase. And because there's 21 people scale, that means on top of the normal three hand phases, I have two extra hand phases I have to do. So that means five total hand phases before the head phase. So that's a cool fact, I guess. All right, we're just gonna re-overload now. First phase done. We'll over re overload as soon as it starts. So in a scale this big, Warhammer specs matter so much. If I can't land my specs early on, that means I can't do my strategy as effectively, and it slows down the fight a lot. So yeah, a lot of the success could really come down to my Warhammer RNG. Yes! Let's go! Only took like 6 tries, but we got it. So I only brought 3 brews to this big scale because I don't have enough space to fit anymore. And ideally, I wanted to use them for the head phase. However, I made some mistakes in Evelby during this long fight, and I almost died because I was just so stubborn on trying to save my brews towards the Revian. I really should have just used one early, but I did manage to get out of this 
uh, situation there by take eating and also just getting lucky and tanked one of the hits. Oof. I just take ate that. That was really bad. Alright. Okay. Made some mistakes. Let's hope we don't do that again. Once my personal points reached 134,000, it stopped counting the points for me. It just ends up saying lots. And what happens after that is any point I gained would just go to the group. So the leftover points would be allocated towards all my other party members. And they're all just outside waiting for me while they're boosting points while I finish off the ult, so. I can eat up one of these if I uh, miss and I can't attack for a bit. That way I can actually save a bit of stamps because I actually do need to start saving. I need to start saving some stamps right now, so. Oh, shit. Rice cup? Oh, RC. Oh, that's all it says, RC. Pog. Come on, 59, Th 39, oh my god, oh, yo, we did it, we did get chance one time though, but, oh my god, oh, that was hard, but yo, I still had two stamina left, stamina doses, oh, ring of endurance on fire, bro. This is why we went through X Drive for this thing, so we can actually pull off some stupid thing like this. That's so cool, man. Yo, let's get to, let's get this light mode. What we get? What we get? Please, no way, dude! It's a white light, dude. This shit, this game sucks. Ah, oh, this game sucks, man. Oh wait, Dragon Claws. Yo, never mind, bro. <laughs> Yo, somebody got Dragon Claws. That's so funny, bro. Oh my god, dude. Somebody actually got Dragon Claws. Let's go. <laughs> so funny, bro. Imagine. Imagine getting like however, who knows how many points. I'll figure it out, dude. <laughs> Yo, thanks for helping out, guys. Holy shit, we managed to get 500k points. Oh yeah, don't forget to check my points. I can actually figure out how many points I got. But yeah, that's awesome, man. The Ring of Endurance is freaking insane, man. We, uh, we, we went in with... Six Staminas, and I still have two doses left. Wow. But we barely made it, though, in, in Overloads. We used up everything. All the enhances, all the brews, everything. So one of the Iron Man that helped scale my rate got the claws. He actually needed it, so that's actually really nice. Good on him. I don't need any race items. So it was just for fun. And uh, I got 1.2 mil worth of coal. That's my That was my loot. And in terms of how the points ended up working, almost probably around 250k. I got capped 134,000, so like 126,000 was equally split amongst the other 20 people. Blast Furnace is definitely the most obvious choice to use the Endurance Ring because you lose run so goddamn fast and you gotta stand pot up a lot. So with this, you should not have to pot as often during your runs, which will make it so much nicer. I will be able to figure out how many doses I use based on the endurance ring. So we're at 959. So yeah, uh, in 30 minutes, well, I'll see how many doses I end up using. God damn, the max cube is really nice. All right, we're using our first dose now. All right, so I've noticed that um, you do eventually get to zero run energy. So, so yeah, you should probably have some like super energies with you just in case. But I guess in my case, I'm just going to use the uh, Explorer's Ring, but... But yeah, you do eventually get to zero run energy. If you're doing something like Gold Aura, uh, Smithing. Alright, before anybody in the YouTube comments asks why I don't have Goldsmith Gauntlets, this is the Goldsmith, because uh, Max Cape 99 Smithing Cape has that ability, it counts for it, so... Just gotta keep the Ice Gloves on. Makes it a lot easier. Alright, this is going to be the last trip here. We reached uh, 30 minutes. So, it was very uh, steady going at 36k an hour. But uh, anyways, let's check out the charges. That's the main thing. 
So we started with 959 and we've used... So I only used 8 charges in the ring which meant that I only drank 8 doses in 30 minutes. Which is nice because normally you probably have to drink like 16 times in 30 minutes. So yeah man, a lot less time spent tr drinking and grabbing stuff out of their bank to do this. Super nice man, if you can afford it, definitely use it here, absolutely. Let's go and uh, try out some more rewards, see how many stamina doses I end up using. So we are starting at 951. Harvest. Oh, there we go. Yay, my first KC at this place. Alright. Guys, we did it. That was really, really easy. This may be it. Is this the one? Yeah, this one? Yeah, yeah. Actually, this is faster. This is faster than... Going this this way. Fuck that. I'm not following that direction. Yeah, that one is like run light. Come on, man. You're supposed to be smarter than me. Okay, we just reached uh, 30 minutes, and yeah, these are kind of the, the XP rates you're, you're probably gonna get around when you are my levels of the 99, respectively. And we ended up using, let's see, four doses, one potion. Three doses here, so seven doses altogether, which normally would be about 14 without the Ring of Endurance. If you're gonna go for a crazy long trip, I guess the Ring of Endurance is pretty nice for that, but I don't see it as impactful as Blast Furnace though, to be fair, because you don't really bank much at all. So, you know, you're not banking by default often, and with the Ring, you'll bank even less. But yeah, I guess you will save a bit of stamina in the long run because you do get that 15%, you know, reduced drain rate on your run, so... Okay, so one more skilling related test I want to try out with the Ring of Endurance. It's going to be some rune crafting. So, just off of this test as ZMI, it's probably gonna reflect, you know, something like lava rune crafting as well and like astro rune crafting as well, so... We're gonna go 30 minutes of ZMI. It's at 944 stamp doses. Oh, quick payment, there you go. Whenever I use my services, I'll take 20 of your lovely mine runes. Ah, there we go. Quick service. Gotta set this up before we even do this. Okay, we just did 30 minutes of ZMI. A little scuffed, but I believe it was mostly Mostly correct. Okay, so we started at 944 and at 938. So that means we use 6 stamina doses. That means you will use 12 doses an hour with the ring. So it'd be 24 without the ring. So really nice. Definitely uh, super good for this. Less having to drink stamina, you know. More crafting of the runes. Definitely certified here. And it would naturally work for, you know, lavas and all that other high intensive running rune crafting methods for sure oh wow it's easy already an eq key and a clue scroll and an easy clue all right guys we are going to go to sarah now so you might be asking why not bring a t-bow and let's be real if i bring the t-bow i'm not really gonna be able to showcase the effectiveness of the endurance ring because the t-bow kills are always gonna be like a minute or under so it's kind of going to be a waste. So we're going to bring something more moderate, a crossbow. Because, yeah, I mean, some kills might get really long with a crossbow. So the four minute, you know, timer on a stamina dose because the ring endurance should be able to carry me in bad times. All right, here we go, boys. We are starting now. Damn, that's crazy. I've done two kills already. I still haven't used any stamina doses yet. Just the rings, you know, drain rates helping me. Drain rate reductions helping me. Alright, there we go. We are using our first dose of uh, stamina, but I am already pretty much killed it. This is what uh, the Ring of Endurance would be so good for. This kill is taking a while. <coughs> and normally my stamina pot would be about to run out, but... I still got like two whole minutes left. That's how crazy it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another Sarasaur. Jeez, man. 
This is how you get drops, man. Just test something for fun and then boom, you get a lot of drops. Another Sarasaur. This is my second one. So, two is gone now. I should probably teleport, actually. Uh, so that means... Yeah, I was using about one stamina dose for every two-ish kills. And yes, this is without a T-Bow. Obviously, with a T-Bow, you might not even use Staminas at all at this point, you know, with the Ring of Endurance. But yeah, that's really good. I mean, you know, for people that are using a Crossbow, maybe a Rune Crossbow, maybe like Diamond Bolts, you know, for under gear people, but... So I just stayed for three Divine Range Pots. It was a bit over an hour, and I managed to get 21 kills. One dose was a bit over two kills. You bring 8 stamina pots, which probably can easily happen for the more experienced people. You can do like 80 kills just with a with a crossbow. It's insane, yeah, the ring of endurance is really good here. And I think most kills were probably around a minute. Some kills took over 2 minutes or close to 2, but stamina pot with endurance doesn't matter. Because you're on, you're on 4 minutes anyway, so you can never run out of run pretty much, even on a bad kill. So, definitely certified, definitely. On some other grinds that I've been doing such a nightmare, I've been experimenting with some duos using Blood Barrage. It's actually looking really good. I can actually stack the Parasites together consistently and heal off them with Blood Barrage and be able to, you know, hit two at the same time. And also for the Husk too as well, I can also barrage all the Husk together. So there's more Husk since there's, uh, you know, one more person here. So yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> Yo, I can actually blood barrage them, Mary J. Yeah, that was sick, but we didn't do a great job because I kept misclicking, but... Oh, that was awesome, dude. I got a massive heal with the uh, D2H. Watch this. Oh, wait, nothing happens? You can't freeze them. Oh, what? You just can't freeze them, bro. Wow, they're unfreezable. <laughs> Okay, so that doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome, dude. That was such a badass heal. Blood Barrage and a duo? Okay, there's potential, you know, there's potential. I see potential in this. I'm gonna meet up with you, Mary J. So I can just mob them. Alright. I hope you're ready. Nice. Oh, that works pretty well, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That that actually works pretty well, Mary J. Oh my god, dude. That was so good. I blood barraged one shot at all of them. All four of them. I didn't even use D2H. <laughs> Yo, this shit is good stuff, bro. Oh my god. This shit is good stuff, mate. This is good stuff. Yo, that shit was fun. Oh my goodness. We got... Yeah, dude. These duels are actually super fun. We're innovating, boys. I got him, I think. Nice. Yo, this is so good. Yeah, this is so good. With the arcane, bro, I can actually reliably just kill him. 99.9999% of the time. Just do it. Hey, who's trolling, man? The fuck? Someone dropped all these big bones? Are you kidding me, bro? What? Oh my god, I just got a blood shard. <laughs> Yo, are you kidding me? I haven't been back here in like two weeks. Oh my god, I got another blood shard. Dude, my luck is... <laughs> like, it's out of this world. Uh, Like, seriously. Out of this world. Here we go, guys. 5,400 sentinels killed. Seven blood shards. Also been doing a good amount of gauntlets uh, on the daily, a few hours at a time, trying to get this pet. Oh shit. Oh my god, what? 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 What kind of drop is that, dude? I just got a crystal armor seed, a crystal weapon seed, and an elite clue scroll. Wow. Huh. Holy crap, man. What a crazy ass clue that is. Excellent. Excellent, even better. Perfect positioning, man. I couldn't even get cucked by the uh, 
by the disco floor either. That was that was really good. What I found a really good layout at the gauntlet in terms of like resource spawns and like demi boss spawns, I usually try to go for a nice PB, and we definitely got a good one going. So I only made one tier three weapon. I believe it was the bow because I found a dark beast and. I had to do the 5 to 1 method because I only have one good weapon. So I had to keep manipulating the boss's prayer so that it would pray anything other than range. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm hitting good. 5. Damn. Hopefully, this is a PB. I hope so. Oh shit! That was a sick PB, dude. Sub 3 minute fight, 613. Easy. Alright, I'm happy with that. That's what we needed, bro. Wow. That was a that was a solid PB. That was like a whole minute. Oh my god, this should happen again? Wow. You know, we're just doing gauntlet right now, but alright. Hey, look, we just got some. Nice, I got it. Yes, this is a kind of decent milestone. You know, 15 hundo. 1500 but i think 16 is gonna be a much bigger one because that is when i go 2x dry you know for That's this good. thing 1600 here it is guys that is uh 2x the rate for this pet here we go damn damn thank you guys for watching today's video if you found this video to be enjoyable consider giving a like we also have a friends chat feel free to join that if you want to hang out and also consider subscribing and ring the bell that way you will get all video notifications and if you have amazon prime feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv rice cup and you can financially support me for free through amazon prime anyways thanks for watching see you guys later